But I, I need to to speak to. I need to have a serious moment with Jake Paul because I need for him to understand the severity of what he did the other day by snatching Floyd Mayweather's hat off his head. Now I understand he's not from our culture, and he did he wasn't raised this way. So I'm gonna give him a, a pass on that. But from this moment forward, I need you to understand that there are certain things as a culture that we do not play around with, and it will be the cause of a severe ass whooping that will come to you. Okay, it's, we don't play those little snatch the my hat off and run games. We take that stuff very serious. I understand he doesn't understand that because he's not of this culture. Something a lot worse could have happened to you, okay, if there were not thousands of cameras and social media and all of that stuff around. That is not something that you want to do. We don't tolerate things like that. It's not a game for us. It is not a joke for us. And you can get your ass seriously handed to you for doing things like that. So I just want to let you know, you you kind of realize the severity of it, but you still are kind of toying with it and and, and, and and you know doing extra things, trying to trying to stir up a fight for you and Mayweather after. But this this ain't the way you want to go, bro. Yeah, he, he got yoked up and he, he's lucky it wasn't worse than that. Um I thought honestly they, they might even angle to let Floyd fight them both in the same night. But uh, apparently Al Heyman has come out and said that I, I don't even think they're going to allow Jake Paul in the building that night of the fight. Um, I don't know if there were some other things that went on. I, I heard he was, uh, again, it's a family show. So I heard he was being a real donkey during the press conference, um, even leading up to that moment. So I think that's yeah. why Al Heyman kind of feels like, yo, bro, you, you, you causing a little too much issues here. And we just trying to get a, get an event done and get a fight done and get everybody to get paid. So um, you know, he'll learn. He's a young dude, man. He he's stirring up a little something for the fight, and maybe that'll draw in some more viewers that want to watch it. But if y'all thought what Canelo did to Billy Joe Saunders was bad, just watch for the three or four rounds that Floyd toys with, with Logan Paul, because it ain't gonna go more than four rounds. No, and and that, and that's what I thought when when I saw that happen. First of all, I was just like completely disgusted by the whole thing, just because again, I understand there's certain things we don't accept in this culture. And that's a level of disrespect that we don't tolerate. So I understand that thing could have been worse. Like, if if you remember, you remember back in, 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 in like the 90s and the, you know, early 2000s, there was like a big thing where people would talk about the, the whole idea of stepping on somebody's Jordans and what could come from just stepping on somebody's Jordans. So you take that, this is like the, the, the level of, of, of disrespect, like we don't tolerate. Like I don't know how you play around and your culture and with your friends, but there's there's levels of, of, of disrespect um, that we just don't tolerate. We're not going to, we're not going to change as a culture anytime. So like, I just don't see that happening. Where we from, we don't play those type of games. And you thinking it's a joke. The only thing that you just did was you just really got your brother hurt. Because Mayweather is, is going to beat your brother badly in that ring. He's not going to hold back. He's not going to carry the fight. He's going to punish your brother. And then he's going to punish you right after that. We'll have a many months down the road, maybe it'll be October, something like that. After he beats the brakes off of Logan Paul, he is going to sign and make another $100, $200 million to come back and beat the brakes off of you. And then nobody is going to want to see you get back in that ring after that. Pretty much, that's how it's gonna go. And this is what you cause for doing the the, the Tom Foolery. You could have got a fight with Mayweather gotcha without hat. doing that. You're like, what are you gotcha like? Hat. What? <laughs> could gotcha you, hat. bro? Could you? I imagine? hope it was worth it. Yeah, I, I, really, I hope it was. I hope. I hope for your brother's sake, you doing that was worth it because he's gonna be the one that's got to feel it right away. The immediate ramifications of of your actions, your brother is gonna have to deal with on June six when he steps into the ring with arguably. The, the, the greatest fighter to ever do this thing. The 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 man that holds the record that 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 fifty was a fifty one and zero right now. He's gonna have to get in the ring with that man. I, couldn't be Yo, me. This is Teresa Weatherspoon, better known as Teaspoon, and you're watching Real Fans, Real, Real Talk. Fans.